If you were to come in on a Friday night, we would most likely be standing around the kitchen island um, eating something we had ordered from takeout and talking about the day and sharing a bottle of wine. Not cricket, just me and my husband. <laughs> I'm Jean Liu. I'm an interior designer and we are here in my home in Dallas, Texas with Comet who is um, a cockapoo and he actually belongs to my daughter Cricket. The house was built in 1928 by Hal Thompson who had been a well-known architect in all of Highland Park. Um, my husband and I had often uh, driven by this house and admired it from the street. We used to sit and park across the street at night and just daydream about what it would be like if we were able to um, live here one day. And so we had decided to move into a house that was two blocks away. And as we were literally unpacking the boxes, I got a phone call from my real estate agent and she had said, you're never gonna believe, but the people who just bought this house now want to sell it. You have 24 hours to make a decision. It was all peach and forest green, Venetian plaster, completely not my style, but I tried to walk through the house just thinking about what the potential was. And of course I couldn't turn it down, so we immediately said yes on the spot to this house. Given that the house is fairly traditional in architecture, I didn't feel like I could completely avoid the style of the home, even though my work is fairly modern. I was not going to be negotiating, or didn't feel like I could negotiate on the style of the artwork that I was bringing into the home. The art is something I have long collected and loved, and so I felt like the furnishings therefore needed to be a little softer. It needed to have a little bit more of a traditional feel than I might have done in a client's home or if a, a home that I might have built from the ground up. The house might be formal, but we are not. We live very casually in the house. Um, other than asking someone to take their shoes off, everybody is welcome here. I would describe my personal style as modern, warm, personal, and a tad unexpected. <laughs> People think my work is going to be pretty serious, straightforward, and strict. I do think that there are rooms that often include an element that is surprising. I think one of the more surprising aspects of the home can be found in the living room. It is a pretty serious room when you walk in. However, if you sit down and look at what's on the coffee table, a series of acrylic pills by Jonathan Adler are all over the table and I think it is definitely a little jarring and shocking to some of my house guests. But, you know, I like to keep them talking. <laughs> So as a designer, we all can't help but use our house as a little bit of our own laboratory. Um, it's a little bit of research and development uh, from room to room. And so one of the things we did in our living room was wallpaper the ceiling. And it was definitely another one of those, let's see what happens. And it has become a wonderful feature. I've enjoyed it. I'm glad we did it. And I've even had friends come back and tell me, oh, you inspired me to do the same in another room in our house. The room that we're sitting in right now is the great room. This room, um, even though it was great, often brought me to tears when I would come home after work and just stare at it. I really was completely perplexed by how I was going to deal with the volume of the space. It also had peach plaster, and I think that was really um, throwing me into a tizzy in and of itself. So over a lot of time, a lot of sketching, a lot of drafting, this room has become the heart of our home. Everybody spends time here, um, whether we're eating, watching TV, doing homework, just chatting. And over time, I came to realize this part of the house gets the best light. So naturally, everybody gravitates here. And the biggest surprise is that this has become my favorite room in the house. Another favorite room in the house happens to be the library. We made a bold leap and decided to lacquer the entire room black, and it completely transformed the way the space 
felt. It is a wonderful, cozy, dark place, and we go in there to read, and oftentimes my husband will have friends over and they will sip an after-dinner cocktail in there. I mean, I knew I was in love with the house just driving by it, but we never had seen the pool, but that was really a bonus. It is, as far as I know, original to the house, and it has this wonderful C shape about it that I feel like is so classic. I am not a huge pool person, but my daughter is in the pool every single day of the summer. It's really true. If you love something, I tell my clients at least, we will find a way to make it work. I don't feel like I had to make any sacrifices um, of any major level to, to live happily here. <laughs> For me, what makes a home is really the people that you love who are with you in it. I know it sounds cliche, but I have definitely worked in homes where people haven't been happy with each other, where they've been alone, and it doesn't matter how much beautiful stuff we bring in, it still feels um, not, it, it's a house and it doesn't feel like a home. This feels like home because I look around and I see the year's worth of things that we have collected and explored together. I mean, the art on the walls are something that we have done as a family. Everywhere I go, I see signs of my daughter. Of course, here's Comet and he definitely is everywhere and to be found throughout. <laughs>